I'm joined today by Dr. Amal Tokars, Assistant Director at IDPH, by Dr. Susan Bleasdale, Medical Director of Infection Control and Chief Quality Officer of the University of Illinois Hospitals and Health Sciences System, and Dr. Nicholas Sulekas an epidemiological surveillance specialist at Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine. Two weeks ago today, August 19th, stricter mitigation requirements took effect in the Metro East region, which had surpassed an 8% average positivity rate for three days in a row. Unfortunately, that region continues to see positivity rates of over 8%, with the current seven-day rolling average sitting at 9.6%. So as I made clear last week, as of today, Metro East Region 4 of our region of our Restore Illinois plan will operate under stricter mitigations, the same restrictions that Region 7, that's Will and Kankakee counties, has faced since the middle of last week. These stricter mitigations, as recommended by our doctors at IDPH, include the closure of all indoor bar service, that's indoor bar service, and indoor dining service. The closing of all outdoor bars and restaurants, gaming facilities, and casinos by 11 p.m., a pause on any party bus services, and a new limit on gatherings to the lesser of 25 individuals or 25 percent of overall room capacity. Let me be clear, these are not decisions that I make lightly, nor would I impose these restrictions if there wasn't evidence of increasing spread of the virus in these areas. I want our businesses to be open and I want our hospitality scene to thrive. I want to get people back to work and finding new opportunities for themselves and their families. But the greatest hindrance to restoring our nation's economic vitality is the virus. Until we get it under control, either by people following the doctor recommended mitigations or with an effective treatment or a vaccine, we are going to be fighting for our economic recovery with one hand tied behind our back. We must slow the rate of infection all across our state. There are virus deniers whose arguments have swung wildly between this is a media hoax and it's just a problem for old people. Now their argument has changed. Their new argument is it's just new cases that are rising, not deaths, and the hospitals are fine, so we don't have to worry. Well, as the White House's own Dr. Burke said yesterday, Florida, Texas, Arizona, and other southern Sunbelt states thought that their increasing infection rates were unimportant. And then, in no time at all, their hospitals were overrun. When that happens, a lot more people die. I won't let that happen here. And let me remind you that people are dying every day from this horrible virus, and thousands who've recovered are still suffering from life-threatening pulmonary and cardiac symptoms. As Dr. Azike and I have said throughout this COVID-19 pandemic, facts and science will continue to determine what efforts Illinois should make to protect our people. If the data shows that the virus is spreading at a high rate, we won't hesitate to take action to protect the people of Illinois. Your health and safety is my paramount consideration. How each region is doing is available every day on the IDPH website. But I want to highlight that what's going on across the state, that over the last two weeks, nine of our 11 regions in Illinois have continued to see their positivity rates creep upward, with four seeing more than one full percentage point increase in positivity rate. Only two regions have seen an actual reduction in that same period. That's the West Central region, that's region three, which stretches from Quincy uh, across to Springfield, and the East Central 
Region 6, home to Urbana-Champaign, to Decatur and Effingham. We continue to closely monitor every region. So I want to emphasize again that local elected officials and health officials should pay close attention to the data for their communities and, where necessary, step up and impose greater mitigations on a targeted basis to bring down the number of infections and the positivity rate. It's time to mask up, Illinois. If we all do our parts, masks, distance, hand washing, getting tested. We can get through this and we can come out stronger on the other side. Lastly, I'd like to invite all Illinoisans to join me and multiple faith leaders in a virtual memorial service tomorrow night that honors those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. You'll be able to tune in to our live stream on social media starting at around 6.30 p.m. and I'd be honored to have you join us. So thank you and with that I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Amal Tokars, Assistant Director at IDPH for today's medical update. Thank you kindly Governor Pritzker. I'm going to say just a few words that will affirm what the governor has just said to you. As we talk about COVID-19 in Illinois, about the outbreaks, positivity rates, and regions heading in a worrisome direction, please remember that what we are ultimately talking about is people. Public health's entire goal is to help people and prevent people from becoming ill, being hospitalized, placed on a ventilator, getting seriously ill, and even dying. Everything we do is to help protect the health of families, friends, and loved ones from COVID-19. When we start talking about mitigation efforts and what cities, counties, businesses, health officials, and others should be doing, which is all critical and has to be done. We can readily lose sight of why we are doing these things. It is to protect people from a potentially dangerous and even deadly disease. And we have started seeing the number of people with COVID-19 increase, as the governor has just stated. Today, we are reporting 2,128 newly diagnosed with COVID-19 and 27 people with COVID-19 who have just passed. This brings the total number of individuals in Illinois to 238,643 and a total number of lives lost of 8,091. The Illinois Department of Public Health is reporting today approximately 32,751 COVID tests. While all results have been reported out to those tested, we are experiencing a minor tech issue in the data processing system, system that we use to report out tests publicly. And that is why this number is somewhat lower than the 40 and 50,000 tests we've been reporting previously. This is being worked on with urgency, and we expect that this will be addressed very soon. Now, I want to uh, say something in closing to you about the upcoming holiday weekend. There are persons all over the state of Illinois that are dedicated to the service of public health in every county across the state. Listen to them. Help them help others, and as we gather, we know, as the governor just stated, that the hand washing, the masking up, and the social distancing are very necessary. And so even our small, intimate family gatherings must look different than they did before, but can be every bit as rewarding, as important, and as enjoyable. So help us help one another, and let us make sure that when we are in social gatherings that are not too large, 
especially if there are small gatherings indoors, that we are also remembering to infuse these principles of hand washing, masking up, and social distancing. Thank you so much for your time.